What do you so think, Bill? This guy is one of He wants to be in charge of everything all the time. I love you. I'm Anna, and this is Bella's story for Geo Beats. I see you coming. There you are. I was always interested in crows before, but I didn't realize that I could have a friendship and a relationship with them. What are you doing to this thing? No, don't poke a hole in it. One crow in my neighborhood started bopping people on the head that had dogs because he knew they liked animals and that they would give him treats. I don't know where he learned this. That was Bo. And I just started spending more and more time with him. <laughs> hey, hey. Don't, don't break people's things. Hi, Bo. <laughs> I've gotten to know all these different crow families. And learn about all their different personalities. There's actually a crow right here at my window right now. Son. With crows, it will have like a brood, and then maybe one or two or all of those offspring will stay the next year to help with the next nest that they have. They'll help to bring food to the mom on the nest, they'll help bring food to the babies on the nest. The next spring came and he moved, but only a few blocks away, he found a mate named Lorena. So it was like his original family, and then he started his own family. The couple stays together for as long as they can. He operates on testosterone, acted like a macho dude. <laughs> what do you think, Bo? There's been times when he's tried to open a peanut on my head. I'm like, that's not comfortable for me. Crows can open up peanuts and walnuts in the shell. But the peanuts, they usually just hold them steady with their feet and they will pry open the peanut shell. They even peel the skin off. With the walnuts, they'll find the seam and they'll peck at it. And if they're not able to open it, they'll go land on a wire and drop it on the street so that the impact helps to break it open. They'll drop it in front of a car to see if the car will run it over. Bo is a very dominant male. He wears the crow pants in the family. Lorraine actually eat from my hand too, but if Bo is present, he wants to do it all. Like, I want to get it all. Last year, they had babies, and none of the babies survived. Lorena was really distraught. She was grabbing Bo's leg with her leg and pulling on it. They would both lay on the ground and then stand up together. And I knew it was grief. Crows are very, very emotional, very sensitive. Come in. I go to visit them, it's like I am hanging out with these little feathered people. <laughs> Bo is so smart and he knows how to seek out the people that he can be friends with. He has a few people friends, quite a few, but he doesn't just go to anybody. He knows who's safe and who's not. I get to know their different faces, different head shapes, different eye shapes, different length of beak, the way the feathers sit on their beak. <laughs> Hi, Piggy. I think that they recognize the names. Oh. I actually read in a book that when you call a crow a name, to them, it's the name of the bond between the two of you. Bo actually came into the apartment a few times, but I have a cat, and once he discovered that I had a cat, all bets were off and he stopped coming in. When people ask me, like, oh, is that your pet? I, I almost feel offended, like, no, he's wild. <laughs> Definitely not my pet. 
It feels like a friendship. It's Hypo. Hypo. He comes and goes. I want crows to be wild. That's where they're happiest. During the spring and summer months, most of the crows that have families will stay near their nesting tree and in their own territories. And then in the fall and the winter, the majority of the crows roost in downtown Portland. And you can actually go down to the waterfront and watch them fly in in these huge numbers. And it's just incredibly breathtaking. Definitely recommend it if you ever come to Portland in the fall or the winter to go check that out because it's just phenomenal. It's unreal. The magic of becoming friends with a wild animal and letting them be wild, you really do release that sense of control. It's very challenging to not be able to protect them, but at the same time, it's very rewarding to see that when you let go of that control, things are generally okay. These birds are so intelligent and so social. It's almost as if these bonds are meant to exist. Just not everybody has explored them. Can you read it, Mama? Good cat.